Although not normally what first comes to mind, many forms of human-derived agriculture clearly fit the broad definition of utilizing a biotechnological system to make products. Indeed, the cultivation of plants may be viewed as the earliest biotechnological enterprise. Agriculture has been theorized to have become the dominant way of producing food since the Neolithic Revolution. Through early biotechnology, the earliest farmers selected and bred the best suited crops, having the highest yields, to produce enough food to support a growing population. As crops and fields became increasingly large and difficult to maintain, it was discovered that specific organisms and their byproducts could effectively fertilize, restore nitrogen, and control pests. Throughout the history of agriculture, Farmers have inadvertently altered the genetics of their crops through introducing them to new environments and breeding them with other plants, one of the first forms of biotechnology. These processes also were included in early fermentation of beer. These processes were introduced in early Mesopotamia, Egypt, China, and India, and still use the same basic biological methods. In brewing, Malted grains convert starch from grains into sugar and then adding specific yeast to produce beer in these process. Carbohydrates in the grains broke down into alcohols, such as ethanol. Later, other cultures produced the process of which produced other preserved foods, such as soy sauce. Fermentation was also used in this time period to produce leavened bread. Although the process of fermentation was not fully understood until Louis Pasteur's work in 1857, it is still the first use of biotechnology to convert a food source into another form. Before the time of Ed Sheeran's work in life, animal and plant scientists had already used selective breeding. Darwin added to that body of work with his scientific observations about the ability of science to change species. These accounts contributed to Darwin's theory of natural selection. For thousands of years, Humans have used selective breeding to improve the production of crops and livestock to use them for food. In selective breeding, organisms with desirable characteristics are mated to produce offspring with the same characteristics. For example, this technique was used with corn to produce the largest and sweetest crops. In the early 20th century scientists gained a greater understanding of microbiology and explored ways of manufacturing specific products. In 1917, Heim Weizmann first used a pure microbiological culture in an industrial process, that of manufacturing corn starch using Clostridium acetobutilicum, to produce acetone, which the United Kingdom desperately needed to manufacture explosives during World War I. Biotechnology has also led to the development of antibiotics. In 1928, Alexander Fleming discovered the mold penicillium. His work led to the purification of the antibiotic compound formed by the mold by Howard Florey, Ernst Boris Chain and Norman Healy, to form what we today know as penicillin. In 1940, penicillin became available for medicinal use to treat bacterial infections in humans. The field of modern biotechnology is generally thought of as having been born in 1971 when Paul Berg's experiments in gene splicing had early success. Herbert W. Boyer and Stanley and Cohen significantly advanced the new technology in 1972 by transferring genetic material into a bacterium, such that the imported material would be reproduced. The commercial viability of a biotechnology industry was significantly expanded on June 16, 1980, when the United States Supreme Court ruled that a genetically modified microorganism could be patented in the case of Diamond v. Chakrabarty. Indian born Anand Chakrabarty, working for General Electric, had modified a bacterium capable of breaking down crude oil, which he proposed to use in treating oil spills. The MOSFET was invented by Muhammad and Matala and Don Kong in 1959. Two years later, Leland C. Clark and Champ Lyons invented the first biosensor in 1962. Biosensor MOSFETs were later developed, and they have since been widely used to measure physical, chemical, biological, and environmental parameters. The first biofet was the ion-sensitive field-effect transistor, invented by Pete Bergveld in 1970. It is a special type of MOSFET, where the metal gate is replaced by an ion-sensitive membrane, electrolyte solution and reference electrode. The ISFET is widely used in biomedical applications, such as the detection of DNA hybridization, biomarker detection from blood, antibody detection, glucose measurement, pH sensing, and genetic technology. 
By the mid-1980s, other BIOS had been developed, including the gas sensor FET, pressure sensor FET, chemical field effect transistor, references FET, enzyme-modified FET and immunologically modified FET. By the early 2000s, BIOS such as the DNA field effect transistor, gene-modified FET and cell potential BioFET had been developed. A factor influencing the biotechnology sector's success is improved intellectual property rights legislation and enforcement worldwide, as well as strengthened demand for medical and pharmaceutical products to cope with an aging and ailing U.S. population. Rising demand for biofuels is expected to be good news for the biotechnology sector, with the Department of Energy estimating ethanol usage could reduce U.S. Petroleum-derived fuel consumption by up to 30% by 2030. The biotechnology sector has allowed the U.S. farming industry to rapidly increase its supply of corn and soybeans, the main inputs into biofuels, by developing genetically modified seeds that resist pests and drought. By increasing farm productivity, biotechnology boosts biofuel production.